Bonjour everyone, welcome back to another video. I am so excited to share that we have started building our pantry, which to me technically feels like the start of our kitchen. Now obviously there is so much more than you would think of that you need to be doing. It is something I keep underestimating, so I wanted to keep this video very real. One of the things that comes with renovating is that you need to do a lot of back and forths to the hardware store. I don't always film this, but in our household, it is usually me going to the hardware store. We have a small one at about 10 minutes that has all like the technical things, everything you would look for, they will have it. There's another one, which is more for professional builders. And again, all of your building materials, you're very likely to be able to find them there. So Olaf always goes to those two. I always go to the bigger one, which is a little more inspiring and it has way more details like hardware or nicer choices of finishings. And I am going there today because we need to get new um, glass for the kitchen cabinet that we're building. And I'm also going to get all of the wood for a cabinet that I want to build in our pantry. I'm having these cut to the right width, or actually I should say depth, um, because that's gonna save me so much time. This bigger hardware store is in Dijon. It's about 45 to 50 minutes drive. And there's all kinds of other stores in Dijon. So whenever I go there, I usually spend all day there because I have so many things to do. So it's nice to have a little break and I'm seeing a friend for lunch here today and I'm a little early so I took some time to just have a little coffee, read a book and then we'll meet my friend at a restaurant that I've been wanting to try for a long time. It is an all vegetarian restaurant. Now this is something I wouldn't find in Bonn, which is our nearest city, or in Autun, which is also about 30 minutes. So this is why I love that we're still so close to Dijon, which is way more of a city vibe. It's much bigger and it has way more of these special restaurants. <laughs> I also wanted to do a quick tour of the city center, but it was a Monday, most shops were closed and it was so cold. So I decided to just go home quickly and be nice and warm by the fire. I have all the materials that I need so I can start the build tomorrow. I decided not to take the highway, but to take the Route des Grands Crus instead. It is a tourist itinerary on smaller roads, and it goes from Dijon to Beaune, and I think it even goes all the way south to Cluny, if I'm not mistaken, and it passes all the well-known beautiful wine villages. Our kitchen is going to be here and this will be our pantry, which has been storage for the past, I don't know long, how long, I don't know how long this wall has been up for the past, I don't know, year and a half or so. And up there is our future bathroom and bedroom, or I should say bedroom and ensuite bathroom. And Olaf, let me show you what he's been up to. He's been finishing upstairs.
he's been putting in all the hemp blocks for the insulation. As you can see, it's not entirely finished. So he's been working in this area that hasn't been sealed or closed off. And um, yeah, that is why this is what this looks like. I told him, can you not have warned me or cleaned out or at least put some plastic film over here? This is all the stuff I use when I take our van and go camping. These are our outdoor furniture cushions. Anyway, I'll fix it, but it would have been nice if this would have been covered. That is for our kitchen. Anyway, what I'll do now, because that's where we need to start, clear all of this out and it's gonna be dusty. Uh -oh. ah. <sighs> Probably. The reason I'm cleaning and dusting all of this off and even using my vacuum is because we need to store this somewhere, of course, while we do the works here. And I'm thinking to put it on the other side of the house in our what's our guest room. And we will be welcoming a guest here again in about two weeks or so. It is messy. It is dusty. It will be like this for another couple of years but I continuously try to keep the house livable. So I don't want to put something extremely dirty and dusty in a part of the house that is relatively clean. Voila, so that is why, why I'm dusting this off because the pantry will be dusty again. That's for sure. Okay. So that's what I mean about being real about things. In my head, it's like, oh, let's go build a pantry. And we're almost 10 minutes into this video, and I haven't even started anything that looks like building. And I have cut out hours of footage. So let's get to a little more fun part. I have been trying to design something that works for this space that isn't very logical. I'll show you in a bit. And it needs to house a couple of things. I want our big freezer in there. I also want our fridge in there. We decided to not have the fridge in the kitchen itself because we didn't find a nice space where we could put something high. And yes, the cabinet for my Procante dishware was more important than a cabinet for the fridge. I don't mind it being in the pantry, also because I'm very sensitive to sound, and it's nice to have it in the pantry where I don't hear it as much. I have been looking at Pinterest, of course, to find ideas, 
I want it to look nice, although, again, the space has its limitations, but at least I want it to look nice when you open the door from the kitchen, then what you'll be looking at needs to look as nice as the kitchen. That is my intention. I need to draw something that I have in mind in a very detailed way because that is the way that I learn that I'm forgetting things or that my measurements aren't right. I'm just a very visual person. I don't have the same brain as my husband Olaf does. So this is the only way that works for me. And then I can do my calculations and check them 70 times before I actually start cutting any wood. I am going to use partly IKEA furniture and something that I'm going to build myself. So the bottom part of the cabinet is going to be IKEA cabinets. 60 width centimeters, that is three of them. So that's a total of 180. And then to the left and the right is going to be a high cabinet. Now, I was not sure whether I wanted my shelves to be 60 in width as well or make two sets of 90. So I'm just drawing that out separately. If I don't like it, then I can draw the sixth width. I think I'm going for a 90. If I'm not sure about that, I can draw out the 60, three times 60, and just insert that and then see which one I prefer. This is just how I like to work. It makes it more tangible for me, easier to see what things might look like, which is very important because I actually changed a lot of the initial things I had in mind just from seeing what it would look like. So as you can see here, there's a lot going on in this space. This is all the stuff for our heat pump. Olaf needs to do all of the plumbing for the upstairs bathroom, all of the electricity as well. So the cabinet that I'm going to build is going to be all along this left wall that you see here. So then when you come into the pantry from the kitchen or when you open the door, you will be looking at that. And here to the left, you see that that's the pipe from our wood-fired stove. So Olaf needs to, you know, build something around that. The fridge will be right in front of here. So when, right when you enter the pantry, it will be to your left. So Olaf is going to focus on all the plumbing, electricity, and building the thing around the pipe. And I can finally start building.
So Olaf had suggested we fix the horizontal shells to the sideboards in a specific way and I have prepared all the wood to do it this way. But then when we tried how it would look, I just figured that with my limited building experience, it would just have a risk of creating way more gaps. So we decided to do it the way that I had initially thought of doing it. Olaf is creating this quick little tool that will help me get all my angles straight when I start putting this all together. To make the job of painting all these shells later a little easier, I am going to sand them all down now before I put the unit together. I am selecting each shelf to see which side is more beautiful for the front and for the top and for the bottom so that when I start putting them together I don't end up with having like bits that are broken in front of the shelving unit. And also sanding all of this now helps me to check for that and also to make sure all of the edges are nice and smooth.
Das ist ja für die Ohren So that is it for today's video. I will be continuing this build tomorrow and hopefully we'll be able to share more in the next video. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time.